the, the one thing we knew we wanted to do was to, uh, to have real projects, tangible projects, that helped real people. Uh, we didn't want to be a think tank or something of that sort. We really wanted to conduct activities on the ground that made a difference to people's lives in some way. We tried a lot of different things. We did everything from uh, staging uh, or supporting no plays, which is a Japanese form of, uh, of uh, theater art uh, in, in Washington, uh, to uh, uh, financing trips of police chiefs from the United States to Japan to, to talk with police chiefs in Japan and see what the different practices were and how we could learn from them and they could learn from us to some, you know, school children uh, dialoguing with one another by video conference to financing uh, uh, education programs to, that took advantage of uh, Japanese uh, art and uh, and history exhibits in museums. It seemed like we really began to help people who needed help when we were working through corporations that were working uh, in communities. We, we did a lot of work in community economic development, in communities where there were a lot of underserved. It's poverty, lack of opportunity, lack of health care, uh, people were heavily dependent on government safety nets and some couldn't break out, and we started thinking about, well, how can we help these people that probably in society need help more than anybody else? And it, it occurred to us along the way that one resource that maybe we might be better at mobilizing uh, than, than almost anybody else would be the corporation. After all, we were a foundation whose parent was uh, a very socially conscious corporation, Hitachi. We, we understood corporate, corporate life, uh, corporate objectives, corporate concerns. Uh, we had uh, the marvelous laboratory of Hitachi, not only worldwide, but Hitachi has many, many facilities in the United States that we could work with. Uh, but that we could reach out to corporations uh, beyond Hitachi, to all corporations, and, and get them involved in helping the underserved in communities that were impoverished and there was a lack of opportunity. Now, the, f the very first place to start with that, obviously, is, is workforce development and how can you get people, you know, out of the, out of the ghettos, people who had a lack of training, how could you move them up the economic scale and get them trained and get them into entry-level positions and get them promoted beyond that. It occurred to us about the time that Barbara Dyer joined as president that we really had something unique here, uh, that, that we were doing something that nobody else really was doing in quite the way we were doing it, and that is working on community needs and addressing them through corporations. We're trying to find ways in which corporate partners could be involved in community development organizations to really create pathways for, for people, pathways of opportunity where they could rise up out of poverty and out of unemployment and get better educations and get better opportunities.